As both a long-time competitive Smash player and someone who found the first Nick All-Star Brawl to be pretty disappointing, I came away from my hands-off preview of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 impressed, excited, and surprised. From the new slime mechanic, to making its characters feel more alive, all the way down to the training mode, Brawl 2 feels like a huge step up in almost every possible way. Hello? You don't agree with me? <laughs> The original All-Star Brawl was fun, sure, but the lack of even basic stuff, like voice acting, made Nickelodeon's iconic cast of characters feel flat. Similarly, many of the characters felt samey and lacked different game plans from each other, aside from basic stuff like movement speed, knockback, and damage on their moves. Combined with the flat animations and dull sound effects, that gave the gameplay a mirrored sense of lifelessness. Even still, it was a good time with friends and had some clever ideas. But most importantly, it seems like it set the framework for All-Star Brawl 2 to really knock things out of the park. And this time, with a satisfying whack. Like the first one, Nick All-Star Brawl 2 is a crossover platform fighter between iconic Nickelodeon characters throughout the years. Think Smash Bros, but instead of Mario, Samus, Link, and Pikachu, it's Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles facing off against Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender. Do you fear fire? Cause you should. Make no mistake though, this is no mere update to the original. Developer Ludosity Entertainment fully rebuilt and remade everything in the game from the ground up and it shows. While a lot of what worked in the first Nick All-Star Brawl is still present, almost nothing is the same. Even characters like SpongeBob SquarePants or April O'Neil who were on the last game's roster have new movesets, models, and animations. Even just from a visual standpoint, it's a big step up as animations feel much more lively and models look more cartoony. During my preview session, a developer told me that every single move and animation in the game references something found in the character's show of origin, even for the most basic attack. Voice actors from the original shows all reprise their roles in Brawl 2 as well. It's fully voiced every step of the way, and in-game voice clips bring a lot more liveliness to the battlefield. Okay, here we go! But even outside of a match, dialogue in its roguelite campaign inspired by Hades is brought to life by these iconic voices. Brawl 2's biggest get, however, is the slime mechanic. Rolling inspiration from non-platform fighting games into the genre, slime functions like a meter in a few different fighting games. You can use it to add extra oomph or special effects to any special move, or to unleash a powerful super move when it's full, like in Street Fighter. It also unlocks an ability to spend a good chunk of slime to do stuff like break out of combos or cancel your attacks or movement like in Guilty Gear. From what I can tell so far, slime adds a whole lot to Brawl 2's combo system and combat loop. Even hulking, slower characters like Reptar can set up and pull off some absurd combos with just a little slime at their disposal. Of the hour or so of gameplay that I saw, Slime was the real star of the show. This mechanic is completely like anything I've seen in most other platform fighters and has a lot of depth to it. I saw Slime not only come out to suit specific combos or scenarios, but it seems like it'll bend to your playstyle too. Defensive players might build it up before using it to boost the recovery in a tight spot. Or, players who like to pile on the pressure might use it to cancel out of a heavy attack to deal extra damage to their opponent's shield. The point is, it seems highly versatile. A lot of thought went into Slime too. Not only is it incredibly fleshed out from a utility standpoint, but it's also really well balanced. Ludosity didn't break down the exact equations at play, but said that there was, quote, fancy math that helped scale down stronger attacks after a Slime cancel. That's critical to Slime's success as a mechanic, because without that small tweak, you could feasibly hit a weak attack, cancel it, and follow it up with a killing blow without any difficulty, even on opponents who haven't taken much damage. If my preview session and Ludosity's character spotlights and trailers are any indication, the jump from Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl to All-Star Brawl 2 is going to be reminiscent of the jump from Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo 64 to Super Smash Bros. Melee. I am positively buzzing with excitement to get my hands on the sticks and get brawling. For more on Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, don't miss the official announcement trailer, as well as the April O'Neil trailer. And for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN.